What's up everybody, Jason back here with another diecast review. Tonight I'll be reviewing the 118 scale Chevrolet Corvette from 1997 produced in great quality and detail by Barago. See, it's a, the silver edition. It's a great looking car. The box is just the window style box. Go around so you can see what the box looks like. It is die cast metal with plastic parts. See it says uh, code 3056 Chevrolet Corvette 1997. Got all sorts of little warnings and everything. It's in the box again. And then the top of the box. Alright, I'm going to get the car out of the box. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Alright, back here with the car out of the box and on the turntable. It's a really nice car. The only minor complaint I do have is I did get this car in a sports collectible store, so I got it used, I imagine. And the gap between the door on both sides. This one here is better than the driver's side. It actually shuts. This one here, as you can see, isn't doesn't shut all the way. So that's my only little nitpick, but I don't think that's, you know, manufacturer problem. I just think it's probably because it's a used model or car. So, there you go. Let's start off. We have Corvette up here on the front. Got the nice Chevrolet Corvette branding badge right there. We do have where the uh, headlights would pop up out of the car, but they do not pop out on the uh, car diecaster. Got the turn lights. Got some nice uh, wheel de detail there. Got some branding, uh, Corvette branding in the middle of the wheel there. Got the brake. It's in the middle, behind the wheel there. Got Goodyear on the tires. Got a little speck of something right there in the paint. Got the fuel cap, door handle, of course. Nice detail on the side view mirrors. Once again, got the Corvette branding on the inside of the wheels. Back here on the back of the car, we have the backup light Corvette license plate, which says uh, Michigan Great Lakes EXX61. Got the nice detail on the tail lights and down here on the exhaust. Once again, we have the Corvette branding up there. I think it's just it is just a sticker. Same with the front. Go get into the detail of the inside of the car. There's your detail of the inside of the door panel. Got some nice detail down there on the uh, gas and brake pedal assembly. It does have a seat belt right here that is plastic that hooks down inside the uh, car there. Got some nice detail on the buttons and shifter and everything on the inside console of the car. It does have working steering which is always good. There's some more of the detail of the seats. Seats do fold down sort of. I'll show you that here in a second. Go ahead and close the door. As you can see door don't shut. That's about as good as it is. Open up the back hatch. Once again, we have really nice detail. As I mentioned, the seat does fold down, but it comes right back up. So, so that's pretty cool. Open up the passenger door. And there you go. No uh, carpet or nothing on the floor, but that's nothing surprising. We do have Corvette right there on the glove box. All the detail on the center console on the dash there. You can see all nice detail on the uh, buttons. See how far I can zoom in here before it goes to junk on me. There you go. Got good detailing on all the vents for the air conditioners and heaters. So that's always cool. That's 
that kind of details there. We do have the shifter right there in the middle. Emergency brake. Once again, the seat belt that hooks into the side down by the floor there. It's really nice detail inside the car. Go ahead and open up the hood. Look at the engine detail. You got the windshield wipers on the bottom of the window there. All the uh, labels and warnings that the real street car would have. Now a little bit about the uh, 1997 Corvette. Is that it had a uh, miles per gallon rating of 16 miles in the city, 27 miles highway. Had 345 horsepower at 5,600 RPM. The 19, this 1997 Corvette came with a 5.7 liter V8 engine with a curb weight of 3,217 pounds. It came in at 180 inches long by 74 wide and 48 high. Torque at 350 foot pounds at 4,400 RPMs with a fuel tank capacity of 19.1 gallon. Those are your specs of the 1997 Chevrolet Corvette manual coupe luxury vehicle. Once again the detail is quite impressive on the engine. Got the radiator down inside here. I'll flip the car over so you guys can see the detail on the inside or on the bottom excuse me. You can see the cooling fans of the radiator right down there. Got all the exhaust does mention as I mentioned working steering got some nice detailing on the lower control arms of this car all the way down to the back of the car and the exhaust sticking out the back we do have the lower control arms and nice detailing on the rear end of it this is my first and only Barago 118 scale die cast so I don't have really any way to compare it to their other cars but I have to say I'm really impressed with this car. I plan on doing some more 118 scale die casts. I have some auto art cars coming hopefully soon. I don't know when exactly they'll be shipping, but sometime this year. So that's my review of the 118 scale 1997 Chevrolet Corvette by Barago. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I post new die cast reviews randomly throughout the week and primarily Thursdays. You can also click the watermark on the bottom right corner of the screen. That will also subscribe you to my channel. All my social media links are down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a great night everyone. Take care and see you next week for an all new Diecast review. Bye.